today we are making barbecue chicken legs in our crock pot all while having a whole lot of fun. Check it out, yum. I am Chris from RecipesAtCrock.com and today we are making a super simple dish in the slow cooker. We're going to make barbecue chicken legs and it couldn't be easier. All you're going to need is a bunch of uh, chicken legs. I always get the big pack. Um, I think it's like 12 legs. There might even be more than that in this one. Um, and I like to throw it in my casserole crock. You can also use a six quart slow cooker to throw them all in there. All we're going to do to begin with is we're going to take some Lari seasoning salt or your preferred seasoning salt. And we are going to liberally sprinkle it all over these babies. And then we're going to add a little bit of pepper. And that's it for the first part of this step. You don't need to add liquid. You don't need to add anything else to it. It's going to cook on low for six to seven hours. You could bump it up to high and probably check it in four to five if you would like. Um, and then what we're going to do at the end is I'm gonna show you a broiling step that we do in our oven where we use barbecue sauce. Now, if you're low carb and you don't have a favorite low carb barbecue sauce, then what I would suggest is you can use our low carb barbecue sauce. So while this is cooking, you could make up a batch of our low carb barbecue sauce, which I will link down below. And then that way you can make this easily low carb for you as well. For me today, I am trying a new barbecue sauce I haven't tried before, so I'm, I'm going to give it a try because my friend gifted it to me over the weekend and I'm like, dude, I'm going to be making barbecue chicken legs. This is perfect. And so I'm going to give it a try to see how I like it. If you're not low carb, just pick your favorite. One of our favorites prior to going low carb was Sweet Baby Ray's. So that would be my recommendation if you're going to do that. But what we're going to do is we're going to let this cook on low for six to seven hours and we'll see you back here in three, two, one. And we are back. I'm going to apologize ahead of time if you hear the dogs shuffling at my feet. Um, they have not gotten the attention they deserve today. <laughs> so they are very much wanting to play. But I've got to finish the chicken. And Mikey and Addie are at karate. So um, if th they're going to be playing at my feet right now. And hopefully they are happy about that. But it has been six hours on low. And I was a little like, oh, this is a new to me slow cooker. I have had casserole crocks in the past, but I wanted to double check it. And I wanted to give you guys the tip that if you're ever just concerned that something might not be done like you, or you just want to double check your work, a meat thermometer is such a handy tool to help you kind of know. And it also will help you know a little bit more about the texture of your um, dish. So for example, I believe, I don't think it says on here, I believe chicken is supposed to cook to 165. I'm fairly certain. Computer, what do you cook chicken to internal temperature? This might answer your question. Chicken is considered safe to eat when it has reached an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, yes, thank you. Okay, so 165 degrees. Typically, I like, especially when we're on the grill, to cook at least to 170 for a texture standpoint. And in the slow cooker, you can even cook further than that, um, and it'll make it even more tender, and the chicken will start to fall apart. But, so we are well above 165. I think some of it I checked was at 180, and some was even at 200. So it's time to do the next step. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to. You don't have to use your oven broiler. Um, if you have a foodie you could, or an air fryer, you could crisp up the skin if you want to in your foodie or air fryer. Or if you're not a slow cooker skin fan, you could also easily scrape the skin off the chicken legs and put the barbecue sauce on afterwards. It's completely up to you. When we were a low fat family, I would do that. I would scrape, um, the skin off the chicken, put the barbecue sauce in, and then put it in the broiler to kind of caramelize that barbecue sauce. But now that we're a low carb family, we do low carb, high fat. Um, and so I leave that skin on and let it crisp up. So that's what we're gonna do this time. 
All we're going to do is take a lined cookie sheet and then take all of our chicken legs out of here. Now those of you that were concerned when we didn't put any liquid in this slow cooker, I want you to look at how much liquid is in there now um, at home. Um, I can show you after I get done um, putting all the chicken legs on here. They, these, chicken, these chicken legs have cooked so many juices out. It is like amazing how much juice it produced and we didn't add any water to this. So I like to do that because it, it has intense flavor um, when you don't water it down unless you need to for a reason in the dish. And in this particular dish we did not have a reason to add any liquid. So I'm going to just go ahead and get all these chicken legs out. What we're going to do is I have my broiler on. My broiler just sets itself at 550 degrees. Um, you can use your broiler how you choose to use it. The one thing I will tell you no matter what your broiler settings are is you do not want to leave this because you do not want to smoke up the house. Things cook a lot hotter in the broiler than the oven. Um, going to take your barbecue sauce. Um, I believe the recipe online said, our recipe says a cup and a half, but really it's to your taste. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, smother all of this with barbecue sauce on one side, broil it, then flip it after it crisps up for a few minutes and do the other side and then we'll have barbecue chicken. So that's all we're going to do. Mikey will probably speed this part up on you. barbecue sauce on it on the top oh, oops I'm not trying to slide it if you can see got all my chicken with a coat of barbecue sauce we're going to probably let this go two three minutes and and watching it very closely and then once it looks like it's crisping up then we're going to turn it over and do the same step again alrighty computer set a timer for two minutes Starting now. Computer, stop. Computer, stop. Computer, stop. Okay, I think it's time for us to turn our chicken legs. They look pretty good to me. Let me try and get them out and not burn myself here. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. I'm going to bring you over here so you can see this. Check that out. Does that not look incredible? Alright, so we're going to just flip them now. I'll put you back in place. Okay. All right, so now we're going to flip everything and do it all over again. I know this might seem like some steps to take, but it really is super simple for something that is so incredible. I mean, when I think about barbecue chicken on the grill, honestly, barbecue chicken on the grill is kind of a pain. And this gives you such a more tender result with the same kind of yummy flavor. So, I this is the way we do it. Like, when we're having folks over, this is what we do. We totally make it in the crock pot to make it super tender. And then we, um, then we do the broiler step. And it just caramelizes and makes this so yummy crisps up that skin i mean they're not always the prettiest but i'm telling you you don't lose half the chicken like if you get your chicken tender enough on the grill a lot of times it like sticks and it falls apart i mean there's a way to do it don't get me wrong but for me this is just so simple and it gives you the perfect result sorry ollie's Shake it off, buddy. Shake it off. 
It gives you the perfect result without having to, you know, pay really super close attention to everything, except for the very end. You do need to pay attention when you're boiling so you don't uh, um, burn things. I'm going to have to try this, uh, this particular recipe in my foodie and do the broiling step there. But okay, so I'm gonna pop this back in the oven for another two minutes. Two minutes seems to be exactly what it needed. I'm gonna pop this in for another two minutes and we'll be back. Holy cow, my pantry door just opened. Y'all, that scared the crap out of me. It was the cat. Okay. Alrighty, I think we're back. I hope we're recording. It's been a doozy of a day. Whew. Okay, let's shut this off. Okay, guys, this looks incredible. I'm going to come see you here in a minute. Um, I'm going to try not to burn myself because this stuff is hot. Let's take this little guy. This little leg right here. It looks so good, guys. So, so good. Okay. All right, I don't know. I've already like pulled part of the leg off of here, but if you guys can see it, ha, oh, that barbecue sauce. So good, so, so good, okay. Let me try to get generally you just pick the leg up and eat it but this is so hot straight out of the broiler I'm afraid to do that I'm afraid to get myself don't want to get myself okay mmm tender juicy Barbecue. Barbecue chicken. Made super, super easy. No guessing when it's done on the grill. Super tender. Fall off the bone. See how that's just falling apart? It would be a lot easier if I let it cool down. I just burnt my finger if I weren't trying to eat a chicken leg with a fork. You know what I mean. I've got barbecue sauce all over me. Definitely get an extra roll of paper towels. Sorry, Kim. <laughs> but if you guys like this video, we'd love for you to give us a thumbs up. If you're not already a member of the Crock Posse, we'd love for you to click subscribe and become a member of our slow cooking family around here. If you'd like notified every time we upload a video, click the ding-a-ling. That is the uh, notification bell down below. And YouTube will let you know every time we upload a video. But whatever you do, we hope you laugh often, eat good food, and speak life. Bye, guys. You guys, the pantry door just opened while I was taping. Scared the crap out of me. It was the cat. This is day over yet. And we are back. I'm gonna apologize ahead of time. Or wait, Mikey wants me to snap, then say, and I'm back. Okay, ready? Hey guys. Hey. I am Chris from RecipesThatCrock.com, and you're gonna hear a dog in the background the whole time. If you wanna see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny enough to send us money, click the